spring 2020 is a semester we remember for a long time. We remember how the coronavirus pushed the faculty and students into remote learning. We remember the introduction of social distancing, the incredible number of WebEx meetings, the lack of hallway discussions with each other, and the eerily empty Armstrong Hall and the rest of Purdue campus. But we'll also remember how the School of Aeronautics and Astronautics responded to this unprecedented time, how we worked together, united to face the considerable challenges that the situation presented. We did this with resolve, with purpose, we brought up innovative ideas and tireless dedication to make things work. Even within these extraordinary circumstances, we're proud to say we did a lot more than just survive this semester. We converted over 50 of our courses to the online format to finish up the spring semester. We completed the hiring of two new tenure-track faculty members who will join us in fall 2020. Five aeronautics and astronautics faculty members had their promotions and rank approved by the Board of Astronautic Trustees this spring. We kept writing research proposals and we awarded these. Among the most recent includes a NASA University Leadership Initiative, a ULI grant, that several faculty from the School of Aeronautics and Astronautics were part of the team. You can read more about this and some of our other research awards in the Aeroliner. Our Gambaro graduate program of aeronautics and astronautics continued to be among the top ranked graduate aerospace engineering programs in the country. Per the rankings from US News and World Report for 2021, we are the number six program in the country. We graduated students this spring. Though we missed celebrating with the class of 2020 in person, we are proud of the 170 students that earned bachelor's degrees, the 56 master's students, and the 16 doctorate students who all graduated this past week. We hope those students will remember their time at Purdue for the friendships that were built, the lessons they learned about their own fortitude, the projects that were completed, and the discoveries that were made. This summer, motivated by our desire to provide additional educational opportunities for our students, our undergraduate students in particular, we are offering even more courses than in previous summers. These will use remote learning as our primary course of educational delivery. We expect students who return to the campus in the fall will continue to develop more traits for success. They'll forge new relationships that will be lasting and will delve just as deeply and passionately into their projects. They'll uncover more scientific and engineering challenges that need to be solved. That's the plan for now as we close out the spring semester. President Mitch Daniels intends to have campus open in the fall, though with specific measures in place to maintain the health and safety of our at-risk faculty and staff and to protect the students. We're eager to be with the students again, to look into their eyes and have actual in-person conversations, and to teach at the front of classrooms. We're currently preparing a plan for what our 50 fall semester courses will look like. The details are still being considered and, and we don't have all the information yet, so I'm sure we'll have to adjust, adjust as we learn more and as we get closer to the start of the fall semester. With the information we've got available now, though, we're expecting to have another all-time high enrollment in our program perhaps 950 or more undergraduate students starting in fall 2020. Our graduate enrollment also looks to be very large, likely near the record of 550 we just had this past academic year. Now, we recognize some sectors of the aerospace industry have had a significant downturn at the moment. The current slump in the commercial aviation industry is an example. But other, success, other sectors continue to operate and make advances. There are several upcoming space launches that are signs of that current activity. So in total, our current enrollments being very large and there's continuing underlying interest in aerospace engineering, we do hope to have the opportunity to hire additional faculty to educate this ever-growing student population. Because some of the research we do in aeronautics and astronautics involves hazardous materials like rocket fuels, for instance, one of our colleagues is actually helping the college put its plans into place to re -ramp or restart or ramp up our research activities. As I record this, we're in the first phases of that process to bring our on-campus research back online, particularly that that was considered to be non-critical back when we started shutting things down in March. There's a small set of the Aero and Astro laboratories that have continued their research work under this critical definition. And the faculty and students doing computational or analytical research who can do all that remotely are continuing to do so, and they've done that ever since the, the COVID situation forced us to move to this remote working. So through this, we're still pursuing the highest levels of innovation and discovery, and we're trying to help solve industry's toughest challenges through our research work. We know that there won't be an end to the school's challenges when we get back to fall, even in our day-to-day -day operations. We're faced with operating differently, and that's beyond the social distancing, the so-called de-densifying we're gonna to try to do, and the remote learning. 
We don't fully know the financial implications yet of the coronavirus pandemic on our budget, but the university is anticipating a reduction in revenue from a lot of different traditional sources. That's been passed along through the college onto the schools, and so we are actually looking at reducing total spending in many important categories to us. We're going to keep our top priority on making sure that the students have the maximum experience they can given the current situation. So when it's appropriate, we're excited to welcome you to come back to West Lafayette to help us celebrate the 75th anniversary of our school. The school started as standalone academic unit on July 1st, 1945, so this is our 75th anniversary. And as we have events, get them scheduled and rescheduled as needed, we'll keep you abreast as best we can. So thanks to all of you for your wide-ranging contributions to help the school do what it is that we do to stay at the forefront of academic learning and academic research in aerospace engineering. Please keep doing what you can to keep yourself and those close to you safe and healthy as we, along with the rest of the world, continue to make our way through this situation together with purpose and mission. So thank you.